Hi guys, we are back with another Coca-Cola vlog, or review vlog video. Now I know this is the vlog channel, and on the main channel I've made three videos on them, three or four. Well, today we're doing another. There is currently uh, tons of flavors from Coca-Cola Creations. And today, the newest one is K-Wave, uh, which is in the box right here. This one is like Bite, where it was a Coca-Cola Shop exclusive. Now, Movement, Y3000, Starlight, uh, Ultimate and Dreamworld all came in 10 packs and they were available at retailers. Now, Marshmallow, that was only available in that size, but they that was available at retailers too. Bite and K-Wave, like I said before, is exclusive to the Coca-Cola shop. There's two more that I don't have because they were a little bit more limited. Happy Tears, which was exclusive to TikTok Shop, and Soul Blast, which was exclusive to Japan, China, and Taiwan. I'll eventually get those in the future, but for now, I'll deal with these. Today is K-Wave. So looking here, in the box was, well, it was in a normal shipping box, but on top there was these 3D Coca-Cola stickers, and this is supposed to be a collab with, like, the K-pop music group, like, the K-pop theme. So that's kind of where the music and the microphone came in. So these are 3D, if you can kind of see right there. They pop out, which is nice. And then here is a K-Wave limited edition. This is where you can go um, see a digital concert from K-pop's, uh, K the K-pop fandom, as they describe it in Korea. But this um, is, and then of course you get the main Coca-Cola Creations box. All this together, these uh, stickers, this and the box that I'm about to show you was $8.95, $8.95 in the US. Also, uh, there's four cans instead of two, like Byte, where Byte was $14.55, $14.55 USD. So this is a better deal than, than Byte, per se, but Byte was more of a less good deal. Now, K-Wave was limited to, I'm not sure which it's limited to. I don't think it says what it's limited to, but it is for a limited time only. And uh, yeah, let's get into it and see what there is. So here we have the actual box. Up here, there's little tabs that you could press. You could probably see it better from here. There's tabs that you could press like a normal soda like cooler, but I'm not going to do that because I'd rather keep this box in nice condition. Up here, it says creations, and I don't know what that says because I don't speak Japanese, Korean, whatever, whatever language that is. And then down here, it says Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. K-Wave only came in in Zero Sugar, unlike the others where they all came in sh uh, normal version with sugar and zero sugar except for bite bite was the other one that didn't come in zero sugar now k-wave on this side of the box there's more of this decoration on the back more of that decoration and on the side the same decoration the difference between this and the other box is the other box the bite box you open it from the top and then it opens that way this one well i'll show you so you pull this little tab right here I'm going to have to slide this off the table a little bit for me to grab with. So you pull this little tab 
up and then it lifts up that way. So then you're greeted with this cool box. I actually think this is a better display than the bite box. And check out the bite review on my main channel. There's also the Coke Move and the Marshmallow Coke. And I, yeah, the, the Coke Move and the Marshmallow Coke. I don't have one for Y3000 Starlight or Ultimate, but I have one for three of them. Now, let's get into this. So it says K-Wave up here, and it says Fruit... Fruity Fantasy Flavored. Um, I heard that's what it's kind of tasted like, and I have no clue what that means. So that just slides off right off. Um, and I'm going to put that back on because that's where I'm going to put the cans. I'm going to save the cans, put them in there. Well, on the back, there's a, another thing where it says, I think this is Coke right there or Coca-Cola because it's like above where normal Coca-Cola creations would be. So I think that's what that means probably coke um and then it has like the hearts and then the coca-cola can little star music symbol and then heart and then it of course says coca-cola creations zero sugar now in the box it's displayed like this four cans for eight dollars and 95 cents this is displayed just as so now i'm going to take one of the cans out so let's push this back. I'm going to... They're a little stuck in there. There we go. These are as tall... These are these cans are as tall as the ones... As these. They are the 12 fluid ounce cans. But the tall cans instead of the uh, like wider cans. Now... This one, they are a little bit dented that you could kind of see, but it has like a nice, like, I, I think there's a little bit of like bumpy residue to it because there's like these little, it's kind of hard to see. There's these little edges right there. You could kind of see a little bit better. There's a little edges and you could kind of see the little bumps that you could rub your hand upon. Now, the can design, it says K-pop magic, and you could click that. Free fa uh, fantasy flavored. This is a cool, I think this is one of the better cans because it has like the co-creation logo right there. And then it has the Coca-Cola kind of fading from black to a little bit white on the bottom. And then it says something in Korean there as well. I think that says Coke. And then zero sugar, of course, limited edition flavor, K-Wave. I have the can right here, so let's taste it and see if it tastes like fruity fantasy flavored like they said. So, crack it. Always nice. A little bit of smoke. This one smells a little bit like... I think the best one this smells like is Ultimate, which was the second best flavor in my opinion. Or the third best. Um, Starlight is my favorite. And then marshmallow, but we'll see how this one tastes. It's... I don't know how to describe it, maybe because it's not cold. It's uh, currently warm right now. Because uh, I just took it out of the packaging. And I did not have time to put it in the fr uh, fridge, whatever. The best way to describe it is it does taste a little bit fruity. But it's a little bit... Um, the sun's <laughs> going right there. It's a little bit... Um, hmm. It tastes almost like Ultimate, to be honest. Um, Ultimate had like a little bit banana taster, tasting flavor, even though they said it was XP flavored. But this, this tastes really similar to Ultimate. 
So what I think they could have done is they could have used the same formula, but new packaging and called it the same, a different soda. I don't think they did it. I think they did change it a tiny little bit. But it tastes a little bit, a little bit similar to the ultimate. I was excited for this. This is the first one I've had and actually reviewed in a while. I think the last one I reviewed was uh, July of 2023? May of 2023? I'm not sure, but I was excited to review this one since this was a uh, exclusive flavor. Um, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show off here. It's not bad. I think it's probably my fourth favorite, but it's not the best out of all of them. Um, my favorite flavors here, I'm going to, I'm going to rank them from the flavors that I've tasted besides, um, Happy Tears and Soul Blast. Number one is Starlight. Number two would be the marshmallow flavor, uh, marshmallows, limited edition, uh, Coke. Number three would be Ultimate. Number four would be K-Wave. Number five would be Y3000. Number six would be Bite. Number seven would be Coke Move. And number eight would be Dream World. Dream World was the least favorite in my opinion. Now there's two more flavors, which would be nine and 10, Happy Tears and Soul Blast. If you would like to see those videos in the future, which I'll probably do either at separate times or maybe one video combined for one Coke review video, like the video, because then I could get them from eBay, third party sellers, which I would hate to do, but it's probably what I'm gonna have to wind up doing for video, because Happy Tears all sold out on TikTok, and I don't live in Japan or Taiwan or China. I live in the United States. Anyway, so just remember to like for those videos if you want to see. Now, I think this can looks the coolest out of most. I think my favorite can is Starlight. But then, this is probably my second favorite can, looking can. It has a nice, um, like, 3D look to the Coca-Cola Creations logo. Whereas the only other can that has that 3D look to the logo is Dream World. Um, besides, I think, I'm not sure if Soul Blaster Happy Tears has that 3D look to the logo. Because I I don't, I've never had it, in, like, in my hands. But, um... From the pictures, I don't think they have that 3D look to the logo of the Coca-Cola Creations right there. So, that is the review of Coca-Cola K-Wave. And uh, I hope you guys like the review. For more like this, Happy Tears and Soul Blast, if I can find them. And... Um, yeah, remember to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace.